Yo, 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 what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy here, I'm O, bringing you back another YouTube video on mobile gaming. So today's video, I'm going to be discussing exactly what you can see in the video title and the video thumbnail. Apex Legends Mobile. <sighs> what a game changer this is going to be. Ooh. Right, before we jump into the video though, I do want to announce that I'm going to be doing a giveaway. A big thank you to my friend, Mobile Plays. He's given me the chance to give you guys a copy of Rainbow Six Siege, and this is going to be on the PC on Steam. So if you guys want the chance to win this, then all you need to do, guys, is follow the entry requirements, which will be in the link in the description that takes you to gleam so gleam is going to give you a few ways to enter the more times that you enter the more entries you get so i think there's going to be four or five ways to enter this by like following my twitter subscribing to my youtube joining my discord and um following my d live account so you guys can choose exactly what ones you want to do but the more you do the more entries you get so guys good luck and i will announce the winner at the end of this week but apart from that let's jump straight into the video Okay, so this topic and this game that we're going to be discussing is highly, highly hyped right now in the mobile community. So the game Apex Legends, they have actually confirmed that they are releasing their mobile version of the game sometime at the end of this year towards 2021 as well. So I'm guessing there's going to be a couple of betas for this game because there is like a year's production work on it before it actually gets fully released. So exactly like Call of Duty Mobile, for example, it took them a couple of months to actually release the game globally. They released a couple of betas across the world for people to play, give their opinions on it and, you know, to be able to, you know, improve the game. So Apex Legends, I know that they're a very smart company and I know that they got their head screwed on when it comes to gaming. But what can they bring to mobile? And what I mean by this is... Are they really going to be able to perform to their best capabilities of, you know, creating a mobile game? There's a lot of, you know, games out there. Call of Duty Mobile, Critical Ops, Standoff. Then you've got, you know, other games like Area F2, uh, PUBG Mobile, Fortnite Mobile. Can Apex Legends compare to these games? And honestly, my p opinion about this well, on this topic, should I say, is I really think they are going to pull through and they are really going to improve the way mobile gaming is looked at. So there's a, a lot of uh, discussions out there that people don't think mobile gaming is, you know, a thing. But mobile gaming in the last, uh, well, the last two years since I've been on mobile has improved so much. If you think about it years ago, we've all played mobile games on our phones before or on our iPads or tablets, whatever you guys play on. We've all played games back in the past, I mean a couple of years back, where you're playing just, I don't know, some proper watered down, terrible graphics computer game. And yes, we've probably spent an hour on there and thought, you know what, dude, I've got an Xbox or a PC, I'm just going to hop on there instead. But... Guys, mobile gaming has come to a massive peak when it comes to graphics, performance. You know, the community is is growing by the day, by the hour, by the minute, by the second. A lot of people play mobiles now. The, the reason why, everybody has got one of these. If you haven't got one of these, then you might be too young and your parents are doing the right thing for not getting you one of these. <laughs> So basically, mobile gaming was invented for the prime reason of, you know, gaming on the go. So if you're on the bus, if you're on any kind of transport, shall I say, yeah, I can play. Yes, I won a game. So I, I just think that it's a massive, and I, I really do mean this, I think it's a massive step and a good step at that. When companies like Call of Duty, like PUBG, like Fortnite, reached out and joined on the mobile community. The marketing that was involved in this was 200,000 plus IQ. Because they thought about it in the long term. 
yes, you know, mobile game companies are going to lose a lot of their money. Well, I wouldn't say the mobile game community, like companies. I mean the actual companies. So let's take for an example, PUBG. So PUBG released on PC. They then released on console. They knew they had to take a big chunk of that money to remake the game on mobile. But there's always going to be downfalls to any business. And that is exactly the same as being a YouTuber and being a hairdresser or being anything self-employed. You have to take a hit. Because if you don't take the hit, then it means you're pretty much going to, you know, flop. So big companies know and they take into consideration they're going to take a hit on a game before they actually start, you know, climbing up that mountain path. Because the reason behind this is, you know, it's a complete different engine when it comes to computer games. So like PC and console games, they run off different engines to what mobile games run off. So we all know a massive, you know, developer company called Tencent. Um, uh, you know, they, they designed the PUBG mobile engines. They've also jumped on board and designed the Core Duty mobile engines. I believe they've run off the same engine. Bet me if I'm wrong there. Um, but yeah, so this, just to let you know, guys, everything I'm talking about right now and waffling on about is literally my opinion and my personal preference and everything that comes out of my head, okay? So you guys might not agree, agree with some of the stuff that I talk about, but... You know, it's it's my opinion, and we're all right to have our own opinions. Just I just wanted to clarify that because I do see a lot of comments out there, you know, trying to cause arguments with decisions and topics I talk about. So I'm just putting it out there real quick. So uh, yes, back to Apex Legends. So I've got a huge announcement to even say before I, I continue the video. I have actually become a content creator for the mobile version of Apex Legends. So I've jumped into their Discord server. They've invited me to become a content creator. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm, I don't know if it's going to happen, but maybe I could potentially get early access to the game in the near future. At the moment, there's discussions that the game is going to be released, you know, early October 2020, all the way up to November 2021. So as you can see, that's, you know, over a year's spike. So that could potentially mean that there's going to be a few betas like I, I mentioned early on. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to kind of try and post as many of Apex Legends video... Bit, uh, I can't even speak. I'm going to try and post as many Apex Legends videos when it comes to the mobile side of Apex when the game is released. Because I really feel like it's going to be liked by a lot of you guys in the community, especially the people that are watching my channel for Area F2. You guys know that I'm a game... You know, I'm just a game freak. I love games and I'm happy to play any game. But... Basically, Apex Legends came out on the PC and I absolutely sweated my bum crackalacker on the game. I spent so many hours playing this game and it's super enjoyable. The only reason I stopped playing it was just because newer games were coming out. I want, you know, I never, ve well, I don't know. I never usually stick to one game for too long because I don't want to, you know, what, what's the word? Like anchor myself down to just one game. I like to be open-minded and take on board a lot of games. So that, that's just me. I'm a gamer. That's what gamers do, you know? Uh, there, there's gamers out there that just love to stick to one game and get very, very good at it. But I'm just fortunate enough to play a game and get pretty decent at it fairly quickly. Uh, that's not blowing smoke up my own butt cheeks. That's just me in general. I've been the same since I was a kid. I think computer games just came natural to me. And uh, yeah, so I jumped onto mobile gaming, you know, two years ago. And, you know, it came natural to me. Yes, I struggled for a couple of weeks to learn, you know, the, the difference between playing on a controller or a keyboard and mouse to playing on, you know, a screen. So I'm just happy that Apex Legends have come to the, you know, the terms and made a really good decision to bring their game and their market over to mobile. So I'm super happy about this. And if you guys are super hyped about this, let me know in the comment section down below, because believe me, I'm super hyped. <laughs> I'm super hyped. And honestly, I've said it multiple times already in this video. I just can't wait. I really can't wait. I can't control my excitement for this. So Apex Legends, 
if you guys are even coming close to even watching this video, most likely not because I'm not that popular at the moment. But guys, thank you. And I, I think I speak on, you know, behalf of the mobile community as well. Thank you so much for, you know, including your games on the mobile platform. Pl 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 platform. Blah, 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 blah. Platform. <laughs> oh my, I haven't had much sleep tonight, guys. I've been up editing all night, so... Uh, that is pretty much all I really wanted to talk about, in all fairness. So, guys, if you've got any opinions or any feelings towards the game and what you guys, are, you know, would like to expect in the game, then feel free to drop a comment in the comments section down below. And I will try my best to forward it on to the, you know, the mobile, the Apex Legends mobile Discord. Hopefully one of the admins can forward that on to the actual game itself so yeah i hope you enjoy this one guys i'm sorry about waffling i sometimes i just like sitting here and talking <laughs> it, it is just what it is you know i'm fortunate enough to be a little bit comfortable with sitting in front of a camera in a room on my own my next door neighbors must think i'm crazy because i just talk to nobody except for you guys they don't know that you're buying this camera but i see you guys i i see every single one of you <laughs> Right, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like and subscribe. Don't forget to join my Discord link in the description down below. And also, I do go live five to six days a week on DLive, which is also in the description down below. Guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. So, take care.